Alright guys, Steph here. Okay, so what we've got for you today is a gorgeous Italian made Aurora number 88 fountain pen. As you'll see, it's a piston filler fountain pen, but a lovely, lovely pen. Now this pen I came across recently and what I thought I'd actually do is sh do well basically show you the pen before I always get lots of emails from people saying yeah can you show us a before and after and unfortunately what I tend to do is actually start work on the pen and I, I forget all about it but on this occasion I thought right yeah okay well let's show you the before so this is how I found it uh, you can see it's got a gold fill cap we've got a few marks here and there it's a little bit tired and basically what, what's actually happened uh, or what we've got is a pen with a cellulose celluloid barrel and an ebonite uh, section and blind cap now if you look at the blind cap there you can see quite simply it's discolored and it actually it doesn't look actually as bad on the video but it is actually you know quite a sort of brownish brownish color and also the section as I say is also ebonite is beginning to sort of discolor compared with the rest of the pen and another thing uh, you may be able to see there these pens have a ink view window and as you can see it's quite dirty inside so you can actually hardly see hardly see the ink view window so what I'm actually going to do, as I say, I've not touched it yet, but we thought we'd show you the pen before. And then what we'll do, we'll, well, fully disassemble the pen, clean the inside of the barrel, um, put new seals in, in, the, uh, in the piston filler inside. And, well... What I'll do then is come back and show you the pen once it's finished and we'll do a, a, a quick review on it. So there we have it. So that's before. And this is after. As you can see, looking a little bit nicer than it did before. You can see there. So what I've actually done, I've actually totally disassembled the pen We've cleaned everything internally, externally, put a new uh, new washer inside on the piston. And as I say, everything's been totally cleaned and the pen is ready to go to a new home. So, as I said, we've got the Aurora 88. The size of this pen capped is 137 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a nice girthy 12 millimeters in diameter. Now, for you people that don't don't know, very briefly, uh, the pen is from circa well, I, I would say late, sort of the second half of the 1940s, um, and it actually goes through to I believe around about 1953 when Aurora actually. Um, if you like, upgraded this particular pen to the 88K. Incidentally, I've actually, I've actually shown you the 88K, so if you're interested, go and have a look. But as I say, the late 1940s through to 1950s, um, and then they brought out the 88K, which some of you will know have got has got this sort of black sort of line on the um, on the clip. But this pen was Aurora's answer to the Parker 51. At that particular period, the 51 was a very popular pen. So Aurora brought this out. The difference being that this one, as I said, is a piston filling fountain pen. But these are absolutely gorgeous. They're a lovely pen. Now, to the cap. If I sort of turn it round, I think just there to the bottom of the cap, you can see it's got 80, sorry, 18 KF, which indicates that it's actually 18 karat gold filled. 
Okay, so that's the that's the imprint on the cap. As we've just shown you, it's got this lovely long sort of slender clip. Very attractive in my opinion. And then to the very top there we've got this aluminium sort of yeah, if you like, a cap stud, dual, term it what you like. And then if I turn the pen all the way round, um, you'll notice to the very bottom there, it's also got this little button. And I believe that the buttons on these actually indicate the sort of the size or the width of the nib by the circles it has on this particular button. Now, for you people that know as well or don't know, um, to actually get inside the pen we actually have to remove this little button here and that that's allows us to gain access inside the pen itself. Let's take the cap off which is a slip on slip off cap again very similar to the Parker 51's there you go there's the pen in numerous different angles let's pop the the cap down and again what you'll notice now is we've got this lovely clean ink view ink window there again it's been totally cleaned internally it was a little bit dirty so lovely and clean you can see the section there again very very similar to a Parker 51 as I said this was Aurora's answer to the 51 and their sort of yeah if they're their sort of competition against the 51 you'll notice to this section there it has this little sort of rounded or oval logo which reads Aurora and then inside it's got the model number 88 and then if we turn it round slightly you'll see on these pens a nice little touch they actually have a serial number to the back of the section there and again if you look at this section we've got this very nice sort of yeah and the nib being a very sort of semi hooded nib there's a sideways view let's show you the feed underneath there again everything's nice and clean so this nib here you can see as we said slightly semi hooded you can't actually see it but it actually has Aurora 585 on the nib itself so we've got a gold a gold nib and again there you can see the ink view and if we turn the blind cap here for you nice and slowly you'll see the piston there makes an appearance so the piston now is in the ink view sort of window there and if I turn it back again it will retract back into the barrel so the pistons working fine does it fill hmm well as always let's have a look let's test it so what we'll do is dip the nib in the ink and what I'll try and do, let's try and keep it so maybe we can see the ink going into the, in fact what I'll actually do, I'll turn it a little bit, I don't want a lot, it's only for a writing sample. Yeah, that'll actually do that for demonstration purposes. That's that's absolutely fine. So what we'll do? Let me just wipe the section like so, and there we have it. You can see we've got ink there in the ink view window. It's only a little bit. It's not fully. It's not fully uh, full, if you like, of ink. But you can actually see. In the ink view there we've got the ink which is more than enough for a writing sample. So let's bring on 
let's bring on the pad make sure it's nice and clean and let's see how it writes so what we've got is a or oh, excuse me it's uh, early morning and I've forgotten I'm not with it I'm not woken up yet so uh, what we've got is a a Aurora 88 made in made in Italy circa circa 1946 through to I believe 1953 it's actually writing very nicely indeed Hmm, does it have any flex on this one? Let's do some oh, Look at that. I would say it's actually got a little bit of flex to it as well So with a downward stroke I can get actually Yeah, I can get a broader line than on the cross stroke, but writing a lovely smooth gorgeous writer as you would expect, no doubt, from the people from Italy, the Aurora Pen Company. So, we'll leave it at that. Incidentally, like the Parker 51s, I do believe they, they actually made different variations. Um, I believe they brought out one with a sort of a silver nickel alloy cap as well. Um... But all in all, this one being the gold fill cap, very attractive in my opinion. And as you can see, when we showed you before, everything now is nice and sort of black. And it's looking much better than it did. So, let's find a nice home for the pen. I'm sure you enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment down below, don't be shy, give give the video down there again, give it a thumbs up, just show that you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget people, wherever you are, please stay safe, but for now, I'll just say bye bye for now.